Welcome back to How This Mom Does It, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my super easy two ingredient crock pot chili verde recipe. If you're interested in seeing how I put it all together, stay tuned. So these are the ingredients for my crock pot chili verde pork. Um, basically it is a pork roast, a boneless pork roast, and I um, get these in a two pack. We have Winco stores where we are and um, I had two of these. I used one for a roast the other night and I had one left over so I thought well, I'll make chili verde tonight and take you along with me while I do it because it's so easy. Um, the only other ingredient is, um, and I am pretty brand specific on this one. We've tried different ones. This is the one that we like but you can use other salsa verdes. We like the La Victoria mild salsa verde. And um, I use two jars because I like it pretty saucy. Um, I find that if I use these, I don't need to add any water or any broth or anything. So that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I pull it all together. Okay, so I have put my pork roast into the crock pot and now I am adding my uh, salsa verde in. And basically I just dump it in. I do make sure um, before I start the crock pot that I lift up the pork just to get some of the... Um, liquid underneath it so it doesn't burn. But other than that, um, I will go ahead and start this on low for eight hours and let it cook and I will show you when it's all done. And this is the finished product. It's been slow cooking all day. Um, it This was a smaller roast and it cooked for about six hours and 30 minutes and it basically just kind of started falling apart so I shredded it up and I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer just to get some more of the flavor into the meat. Uh, but it's pretty much done and I like to serve this over uh, white rice with refried black beans. My daughter likes to just have it in a tortilla with the refried black beans. Um, but there's many different ways that you can serve it. Um, this one was more mild. We like the mild salsa verde. But if you want it more spicy, just pick a spicier version. Uh, but this one ends up a little sweet. And both of my kids like it, and it's rare for me to find a meal that both my kids like. So this is a family favorite of ours, and it's basically two ingredients. So super easy um, to throw in the crock pot in the morning, and dinner is done at night. I hope you like this video. If you do, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.